fellow parents and families. Welcome to our program this evening. This time of year, we usually have an eighth grade award ceremony to honor all the exceptional students we have here at Sierra Vista. Unfortunately, this year, due to the circumstances, this was not possible. We would still like to recognize our students, so thank you for joining us to celebrate the exceptional students we have here at Sierra Vista. These students exemplify what we mean when we say, together we succeed. First, we would like to begin with a special performance of our national anthem by advanced choir members, Jordan Stark and Deborah White. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we have at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rifled the bombs bursting in the For our first group of awards this evening, I am pleased to introduce our Honor Society advisor, Mrs. Nicole Marsh. Hello, my name is Nicole Marsh and I am the Honor Society advisor at Sierra Vista Junior High School. I would like to congratulate the California Junior Scholarship Federation Honor members of Sierra Vista. Membership in CJSF has become recognized nationally as one of the highest honors that can be bestowed upon a junior high school student. Becoming an honor member signifies academic excellence and service not only during those junior high school years, but it indicates promise for the future. As a nationally recognized honor member, you are now eligible to apply for CSF in August for your ninth grade fall semester. Let us now recognize this year's 2019-2020 Honor Members. The Spirit Award is given to a student that always comes to class with a positive attitude and works hard. They have a good spirit and help uplift the class. 
The Pinnacle Award is given to a student that has worked really hard to improve their academic performance. This is a student that has shown improvement throughout the school year. The Extra Mile Award is given to a student that always puts in their best effort in class. They go above and beyond expectations. The Commitment to Campus Award is given to a student that cares about Sierra Vista and is actively making the school a better place. The Leadership Award is given to a student that has stepped up to become a positive leader and role model in the classroom and on campus. This award is for a student that stands out as being hardworking, dedicated, and passionate. This student will also receive a certificate of recognition from our California Senator, Scott Wilk. Also, each team will present their faculty award nominees for the Pride of the Plainsman Award, which will be named at the end of the night. My name is Ms. Kelly Contis, Gold Rush Team Leader. I am pleased to introduce these students who have shown qualities that embody our school vision, Together We Succeed, and have shown great success all year. This year's Gold Rush Spirit Award winners are Sayla Trinka, Jalen Curtis, Andrea Alice. This year's Gold Rush Pinnacle Award winners are Jonathan Cervantes, Ava McLeod, Ava Tazjin. This year's Gold Rush Extra Mile winners are Valeria Tiznado Medrano, Camille Stancil, Asha Revia. This year's Gold Rush Commitment to Campus Award winners are Nyla Davis, Noelle Kim, Alex Castro. This year's Gold Rush Leadership Award winners are Josephine Regais, Alexander Franco, Zach Orozco. And now I would like to share the Faculty Award nominees for the Pride of the Plainsman Award for Team Gold Rush. Nyla Davis, Alexander Franco, Steven Gallardo Fuentes, Noel Kim, Josephine Regis, and Zach Orozco. Good evening. I'm Mrs. Velasquez, and I'm excited to celebrate some of our hardworking students on the Majestic team. This year's Majestic Spirit Award winners are Claudia Perez, Christopher Angelis, Aiden Campos. This year's Majestic Pinnacle Award winners are Andrew Luna, Lyric Branch, Kevin Torres. This year's Majestic Extra Mile Award winners are Jacob Bertrand, Aaliyah Pert, Jared Morales. This year's Commitment to Campus Award winners for the Majestics are Maya Evans, Jackson Hastings, Edgar Padilla. This year's Majestic Leadership Award winners are Jaden Quimson, Gunnar Evans, Brooklyn Lucas. Congratulations. And now I would like to share the Faculty Award nominees for the Pride of the Plainsman Award for Team Majestics. Rylene Augustin, Aiden Balakumar, Timothy Pavlov, Jameson Roberts, Deborah White, Judith Casillas. Congratulations, Majestics. You truly are pride of the Plainsmen for our team.
Pioneers team would like to recognize the following students for all the effort they put into the school year and for always doing more than is expected. This year's Pioneer Spirit Award winners are Rhonda Corona, Jeremiah Taylor, Marilyn Caballero. This year's Pioneer's Pinnacle Award winners are Braden Barbula, Amber Cassandro, Gilberto Torres. This year's Pioneer's Extra Mile Award winners are Chase Meyer, Ariel Nasiri, Gilberto Torres. This year's Pioneer's Commitment to Campus Award winners are Cynthia Herrera, Michael Amaya, Ricardo Prado Jr. And this year's Pioneer Leadership Award winners are Rebecca Luna, Aris Garcia, and Bailey Williamson. And now I would like to share the Faculty Award nominees for the Pride of the Plainsman Award for Team Pioneers. The Pride of the Plainsman nominees for Team Pioneers are Braden Barbula, Seamus Floyd, Luke Lagarnia, Rebecca Luna, Alexa Rosales, and Bailey Williamson. Our next award category is the California State Senate Award. Sierra Vista has the honor of having Senator Scott Wilk recognize some special students that have gone above and beyond this school year. Students were selected by their team teachers for special recognition to their dedication to scholastic excellence. Congratulations to the following students. Next, we will be presenting our Academic Department Awards. Please welcome Mrs. Leela Meadows, who will be presenting for the English Department. Hello, I'm Leela Meadows, English Department Chairperson. The English Department would like to recognize students that worked hard to craft their reading and writing skills this year. Thank you for all your hard work and creativity. Presenting the awards for the History Department, please welcome Ms. Kelly Contis. As History Department Chair, it's an honor to announce the awards for the History Department. These students have been chosen by their teacher due to their outstanding achievement in history. Congratulations to all the future historians. <music> Welcome, Mrs. Mary Sercha, who will be presenting for the Math Department. Good evening. I'm Mary Sercha, the Math Department Chair. 
Math is often thought of as one of the more challenging courses, but for these students, it's always a great day for math and they excelled in their math classes. I'm honored to present the following students for outstanding achievement in Math 8 and Honors Algebra 1. Please welcome Mr. Nicholas Hagen, who will be presenting for the Physical Education Department. I'm Nick Hagen, Department Chair for the Physical Education Department. We would like to recognize some very outstanding students for their efforts in physical education. These students were chosen by their teachers for their enthusiasm and hard work in class. Please welcome Mrs. Judy Parkinson, who will be presenting for the Science Department. Hello, I am the Science Department Chairperson Judy Parkinson. Tonight I will be presenting the awards for the Science Department. Congratulations to all our future scientists. award category is Specialty Awards. Please welcome Mrs. Nicole Terranova, who will be presenting our ASB Awards. I would like to recognize some of this year's ASB students for their hard work and dedication to Sierra Vista. This group of students began serving Sierra Vista last summer during registration and is still going strong. They are not only in charge of dances and fun activities at Sierra Vista, but they are also managed the money brought in by students recognize staff, and keep the morale high. They are the heart and soul of Sierra Vista, and tonight we honor them for their commitment to our school. These students always went above and beyond what was asked of them and served as an outstanding role model for our school. I would like to recognize these students that were in ASB this year for their efforts. Rylene Augustine. Madison Andrews. Alina Benitez, Curtis Bernards, Maya Evans, Rebecca Luna, Jaden Quimson, and Anthony Santos. I would also like to present our ASV president with this gavel as a symbol of recognition for her leadership and continual direction for the rest of her ASV classmates throughout the year. I'm happy to present this gavel to Noelle Kim. Please welcome 
welcome our art teacher, Mrs. Darcy Entian, to present our Advanced Art Awards. The award for Advanced Art goes to the students who have shown creativity, hard work, and artistic talent throughout the year. This year's awards go to Jordan Brown, ECHA, and Isabella Meyer Reno. Next, we would like to welcome our Performing Arts Director, Mrs. Brianna Mowry, to present our Performance Art Awards. I would first like to recognize a student on behalf of Mr. Copenhaver, who has displayed a devotion in learning the craft of guitar. Tatiana Gutierrez. The next students are being celebrated for their excellence in instrumental musicianship. Luke Lagarnia, Junior Matsar, and Josephine Riguez. The next students were selected after a rigorous audition process to join the William S. Hart Junior High School Honor Band. They have shown dedication and mastery in their instruments and had an ensemble experience that they will never forget. Those students are Landon Gibson, Autumn Medlock Tucker, Nikhil Mishra, and Daniel Tyra. Lastly, I would like to highlight three students from the Choral Music Program who have shown excellence in musicianship and dedication to the choir. Those students are Jordan Stark, Addison Walter, and Deborah White. Please welcome our culinary teacher, Ms. Doris Fawson, to present our Culinary Arts Awards. Every year we have honored high achieving students in the field of family and consumer sciences, the culinary arts. These are students who have demonstrated excellence perseverance, drive, and are strongly self-motivated to succeed. It is my hope that perhaps they choose a career in the field of family and consumer sciences, the culinary arts and hospitality. It is with the highest recognition that we honor this year's awardees, two fine young people who have done exceptionally well and are kind and respectful. This year's awards go to Cassandra Hernandez and Cheyenne Lakes. Congratulations, ladies. Next, please welcome the Science Fair Coordinator and Science Teacher, Mrs. Nat Honig, to present our Science Fair participants. Sierra Vista Junior High School participated in the LA County Science and Engineering Fair. This award recognizes students that participated in the competition and worked on their projects on Saturdays, conducting research and experimentation. These students worked really hard with, the pro with their projects on top of their schoolwork. I would like to recognize the following students. Isabel Avalos, Aaron DeBoco, Autumn Metlock Tucker, Zach Orozco, and Daniela Reyes. I wanna congratulate all these students for completing their work and due to the pandemic, there was not an in-person competition. Although there was no competition, they did very well in turning in their work virtually. I hope they continue their work in science. Please welcome SV Life and math teacher, Mr. Daniel Pass to present our SV Life Awards. Good evening, parents and students, and thank you for coming to the 8th Grade Awards. My name is Mr. Pass, and I will be presenting the Sierra Vista Journalism Awards this evening. Sierra Vista Journalism is a year-long elective that is responsible for bringing our morning video announcements show Sierra Vista Life to over 1,200 students and staff. Putting on a video show is fun, but a lot of work. Tonight we are recognizing two students that have been absolutely indispensable to the production of SV Life. 
These two leaders have headed up our video editing team and graphics team, and they have gone far above and beyond what is expected of middle school students. It is my honor to present to you the winners of the SV Life 8th grade awards, Alexa Rosales and Maggie Rosso. Congratulations. The yearbook is an elective course designed to record and publish important school memory book for students and staff. In yearbook, students complete various tasks necessary to complete the yearbook through interviewing, photography, page design, layout, marketing, and distribution. I would like to give this award to the following students. Catherine Cervantes, Audrey Collins, and Anna Horn. Please welcome science and English teacher, Ms. Ty Brandt to present our Yes I Can program awards. The Yes I Can elective is built to help establish relationships between students in gen ed and in special ed. We focus on learning how to accept one another's differences and participate in different activities on campus. This award is going to Nathan Anderson and Ernie Carrillo Adesito. Congratulations! Please welcome back our English department chairperson, Mrs. Leela Meadows, to present our Million Word Reader Awards. Each year, the English department, with the support of the entire school through our RELAX program, encourages students to read at least one million words. It's harder than one might think to accomplish this. It requires diligence, dedication, and a concentrated effort to maintain the reading pace required to meet this standard. Because of this, we are very proud to award medals to the students who did achieve this impressive goal. Congratulations to all our million word readers. Next, I would like to welcome our counselor, Justine Sanders, to present our two-year Perfect Attendance Awards. As parents know, getting up early in the morning, getting ready for school, day in and day out can be a struggle. It can also be tricky to stay healthy for their entirety of their junior high experience as well. These students are part of a very exclusive group being recognized for their dedication to school by having perfect attendance at Sierra Vista for the entire two years. Great job. Dr. Carolyn Hoffman to present our 4.0 GPA awards. Congratulations to the following students who have all earned a 4.0 GPA during their junior high career at Sierra Vista. We are so proud of you. This has taken so much hard work and dedication. Congratulations. <music>
it is my distinct pleasure to give out our final awards of the evening. These are our most prestigious awards at Sierra Vista and are given to our most outstanding eighth grade student from each team. Earlier this evening, team members were nominated. They had been selected by their team teachers for doing an amazing job and being outstanding individuals on their teams that emulated our core values of succeed. Their names were then given to all of our staff members and we all had a ch chance to vote on our selection for the most outstanding eighth grader from each team. The Pride of the Plainsman Awards go to the following students for the 2019-20 school year. Congratulations to our Gold Rush winner, Noelle Kim. Congratulations to our Majestic Mountaineers winner, Jameson Roberts. And congratulations to our Pioneers winner, Seamus Floyd. Congratulations, eighth graders, on your promotion onto high school. I am so proud of you, and I have been so honored to be your principal these last two years. I know these last two years have not been easy. During seventh grade, you survived all of our modernization, and that was pretty messy. But you all did it with pride, and with character, and with courage, and most importantly, with a lot of patience. So thank you so much for that. Thank you just for being outstanding citizens at Sierra Vista. You've been a wonderful class. You really have shown what it means to succeed. You have modeled our core values beautifully. I know this has been a really hard year. This is a year you're never going to forget. You're gonna have a chance to think about all the support that you've shown to your family, to your friends, and most importantly, to yourself so that you could stay motivated and engaged in making sure that you were successful. I know that you've been very understanding this year and you've gone through a lot and I'm really proud of you. Thank you for caring about your academics. Thank you for caring about your friends. Thank you for caring about your school. And most importantly, thank you for caring about yourself and your family. We are so excited tonight to celebrate you and all of your accomplishments. You've been able to do amazing things in junior high and explore a lot of different interests and passion. And those are just going to take you on so that you can stay energized as you move into high school and pursue all of your dreams. We know that you are going to be able to continue delivering your best. So congratulations. We wish you all the very best for yourselves and for your family. Thank you so much for giving me a chance to be part of your life.